All right, what's up everybody? It's your host, Matt 10. So I've got a little different setup here for you guys. This is my Master League. This is my Master League actually that I've been playing offline um, for a little bit. And I just, you know, I figured, you know what? I'm in the middle of it. I'm really loving it. I want to show you guys basically everything, you know, kind of what it's all about, who I'm using, and just the enjoyable aspect of actually playing a Master League for once this year. I didn't really want to start a brand new one, um, you know, specifically for the YouTube channel. I just want to kind of continue with this one. I hope you guys are okay with that. These are going to be full um, length videos of the matches that are 20 minute long. And, you know, I'll try to get through it as quick as possible. I know I know some of you guys like to like to watch them. So, you know, you'll just have to excuse me. The editing is going to be a little bit less. I'm, you know, still working my way around the menu and everything like that. Um, but in terms of the team, as you can uh, see, I'm using Auxerre, um, in Ligue 2, and really it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, if we look at the table though, we're down at the bottom, second to last, um, just got our first win a couple matches ago, um, but you know, we've lost some close ones, you know, we haven't given a whole bunch of goals away, but it's been enough that... You know, for the goals we're not scoring because we've only got eight goals right now. And you'd think, okay, maybe that's formation or whatnot. But right now, you know, the game plan's, I mean, in a good spot. It's a 4 3 1 2. I've got a decent side. I might go through a little bit of my team here. Aleke is a um, player, a Nigerian that I got from the Belgian league. Um, and this is all from scouting. Manu Garcia, really good player as well, who's from uh, the league. La Liga, but um, the second division. And then um, I also signed Nani, who's an Argentinian um, that played in the actual Argentinian league. And good player. All these guys are pretty young as well. Um, you know, he's 22. And then Manu Garcia is also 22. Like he's 24. So these guys are really decent players that have improved. It's helped them. They're on the higher scale, of course. So, you know, 73, 74. Only thing is, Alec is 67. Kind of might have him in the wrong spot, but he's doing pretty good um, in scoring goals. Lebihan is um, a veteran on the team. Altre as well. And then the mix there is really just some of the center back, Jubal, who's a little strange player. Can't really figure it out, but he's good at, um, you know, at heading the ball away, etc. Arcus has good speed. Toure is really just just incredible box-to-box -box player but so is Undom who's not very fast but he is a box-to-box -box player so it really works out well with these two here and then Manu Garcia just everything revolves around him um, incredible just agility speed and can find a pass but you know we just got to find goals really is is the issue because uh, we've got one of those teams that's it's a decent side team um, I'm actually going to make a substitution here and put Boto in, who's a little bit younger, um, 24 compared to Bernard. I know I could have done the comparison there, um, but yeah, like him and him and um, and Bernard will be fighting for this left back spot. And I really haven't used Boto as much as I probably should, um, because to be honest, Bernard's actually going to be out of contract. He's older. He's got an offer on the table as well, if I'm not mistaken. If we look over here. Um, he had one and I might have removed it. Let me just see if it's still there. Yeah, here it is right here for Fortuna's uh, sitar. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that because I do want to improve Bato a bit. But then, you know, other than that, we've got some suitors for some other clubs. We're not going to go to the same um, division and same league. So a, cu a couple of these I'm going to just ignore um, and just go from there. But overall... Like I said, this has been a lot of fun. Um, of course, I'm using, you know, regular difficulty with my adjustments. And since we're in the Master League and we're using Cider, using the virtual red patch, virtual red patch, it's really simple. You can just go to participant settings. I've showed you guys this in a video before, but if I want to go to the team that we're going to be playing against, which happens to be the first team, I think the number one team in the league, we just move these guys down at the bottom. Um, right before the center circle essentially and then just bring these guys as well closer together on the other side of the pitch and then just make sure the forwards kind of just maintain the you know the integrity of the formation that they're running and then of course we'll go here and make sure deep defensive line is off 
Make sure defensive instruction is set to frontline pressure. Only thing I've been thinking about is maybe switching long pass, but honestly, it's funny because like teams will be on long pass, but then they'll beat me on like the the short pass, like a through ball or something like that. The other values I change is auto substitution to flexible and offside trap to on. I leave these guys alone though. Offside traps are very important, especially with teams like that you play against with long ball, because that way they don't head it right to the attacker or um, send a long ball right to the attacker. They send it into space, and it really makes for some interesting type of deliveries. They can be diagonal passes that just go off the mark just slightly, um, but end up being in a real dangerous position. So let's just check, take a look at what we've got set up here. So I think I am going to set up this way. And Dom is one that I've been considering just swapping out. Saki's been really playing good here. Um, he's a little bit more flexible, a little bit more, you know, kind of engaged in the sense of like kind of speed and changing pace, etc. And Dom's kind of like one pace, but he's very strong. So I'm going to just give Saki a chance here and uh, jump into this match. So I may have not mentioned it at the beginning there, I was too excited to get into this match, but we're in just about to be in December at this stage. And so we really are gonna feel the pressure. And this is, um, you know, this is definitely a match that we have to win. And it's gonna be tough against one of the best teams in the league, but still, we've got to win. And again, like I said, this regular difficulty this is on DP6. Uh, so it's a recent change for me. I've been playing on DP5. I'm still getting used to DP6. It's a little bit different to me, a little bit more responsive, which you think would be usually a good thing, but I kind of miss the kind of delay or that kind of momentum that I would feel. But either way, it's it's not terrible. So here we're just kind of move the ball around. Just, you know, that's kind of what we do. We do move the ball around. We let these teams that like to play deep, because even though they they were set to deep defensive line, so we keep the integrity of, you know, of their defensive structure, right? If they're deep defensive line, then they're probably going to play deep, no matter what, and that's exactly what they're doing. So chances are, and this ha a lot of teams in this league play this way, where they just sit deep and then go ahead and counter, and makes it really difficult because, especially as a full manual player right now, I cannot make mistakes like that because it really does build into you know just how these guys attack and my policy is if you lose it go get it that's a good defense at the end there but unfortunately that's going to be a corner but what i really like about this setup is you know every team plays a little bit differently but then they also kind of play the same but it's just a matter of you know fine margins it's a really fun league to play in um, and I've always wanted to, and it's just a matter of, you know, really just committing and actually playing this game. And it was all about finding that regular difficulty, which I've shown in, you know, in my videos, um, of what I'm doing and nothing has changed in that sense, this positioning and everything like that. We're kind of all over the place on this, defending this corner and see if they're going to cross it. Well done, Bato. Get right there. But I, you know, I've thoroughly enjoyed my play and I never thought I'd see that for pests in a while we got a pressure here I'm gonna put Manu up high oh what a turn uh oh uh oh Arcus get out Oof. And just like that regular difficulty is no joke sometimes like it may be easy to kind of um, you know get the ball off one of the, of the CPU but at times you'll be surprised that it, that it is that easy or then it is actually hard. They actually defend, you know, pretty well. They move the ball really nicely as well. Here's just over the top. It's a nice play right there. And we just got to get momentum. There we go. And we got to make better passes, that's for sure. And there's that direct play. Even though they're playing a long pass, they're still playing fairly direct. And that's beautiful. This is what I've seen in DP6. A lot more kind of innovative play. Oh my goodness, Saki. That is not good. That's not good. Please don't be red. Okay, at least it's yellow. But Soggy's completely out of position there. Even though he's that right midfielder. I don't know where Arcus was. Oof. Well, that went right through him. I prefer not Toure over here, but we'll just have to make do. Get rid of it. Two ball. Well done. 
Dubal is an interesting player. I'm still kind of getting to terms with him, but him and Nani are, are they struggle at times, I would say. Even though I'd love to say that, you know, we've got all that power there, they should technically be unstoppable as defenders, but they really do cause a lot of our issues. Oof, Garcia. There's Arcus. And I misplayed that one, but Nani's there, thankfully. That's a good play from Manu Garcia. See, he is just fast and just really, like I said, agile. Man, my passing is off the mark right now. It's going to kill me here if I'm not careful. Corte being faced up. Nice job. Like I said, that that's really what we got to be careful with at times. Is When I build my attacks, like a bad pass really will be a bad pass. It'll, it'll just ruin it completely. There's Arcus. Let's see if we can get across him. Ooh, we had him there. Leave it off to Autre. Autre can strike. Oh, he's right there, though. This is a good build-up, though. Pato, left-footed, I believe. Should be able to cross this. Nope. The young man has got to make those crosses. Those are the ones that really need to count. But as you can see, you know, when you're playing full manual, it, I mean, it, your passes have got to be on point. But I love it on regular difficulty how the CPU just doesn't give up. You know, they they definitely don't just give in, you know, even though you're playing on a fairly low difficulty, right? And you have to wonder, like, really what difficulty it is sometimes, you know? And that's really what's surprised me. And my, my biggest thing with pests is just the accuracy of shooting by the CPU is so automatic on, on the higher difficulties. That's that. We got the advantage there. I'll try to play it in. Ah, it didn't work. It was a good idea. I actually usually use just regular through, uh, short pass for those through passes, but that time I actually used it. Oh, here we go. Oh, what a terrible touch from Aleke. <laughs> you know, he's been prone to doing that. He's been in positions and he just he just doesn't. I think he's still getting kind of used to the league or something. Oh, Tori's so good. But that pass is a little bit off. There we go, Bato. Oh, beautiful Paul Libyan. And I, I usually will say this, but I'm sorry for the uh, mispronunciations. My French. I've taken French. I know a little bit. I know how to say. I definitely know, don't know how to speak French. Uh, je ne sais pas le français, something like that, right? Um, people have said I've got a good French accent, which I take as a compliment, but I think they're just being kind because I feel like I'm terrible sometimes. I am bilingual. I know Indonesian and, of course, English, so <laughs> at least I've got that going for me. But, yeah, this is, um, as you can see, it's just a kind of back and forth right now just trying to gain control just the fine margins really but they're holding their own and I'm just gonna see if we can just pressure there a little bit but he got out of that now Turi has to make up for Arcus and we're in a tough spot here both my center backs are completely out of position thank you keeper Kind of all over the place. Oh, what a touch that was. Nope. Bato is like playing her left center back right now. Ah, the passes. You got to feel it sometimes with the like He just, he's just kind of, I don't know the way to say it. He's just kind of clumsy, you know? Oof. Come on, ref. Thank you. He's just kind of, just clumsy is, is the best way I can put it. He just, he's there in the right positions, but like he's, like a player you're just like wishing does good and then like how long are you going to give it and I think manager La Mateo is just giving it a bit too much sometimes for the man that's not a good pass from Jubal Arcus thankfully has some pace to him yeah we're just off the mark just a tad let's keep that in please come on Bato ah, Manu But I think Manu Garcia is probably our star of the team. He scored some wonder goals. I think I've put him on Twitter before. And as I get into this a little bit more, I'm going to have a goal of the season. And he's definitely been a con contender. 
and when you play, obviously when you play full manual, ah oh man, can't get those passes in. When you play full manual, like manual shooting and pass is so rewarding. I wish the goalkeeper animations were better to kind of really make it feel more rewarding. But for the most part, they're pretty solid. And so we're really building up some good, some good momentum here, but I just feel like they're the ones who are going to crack us here. That's a good pass over. There you go, Manu. That's what Manu can do. He can just split the pass. Touch, nice touch from Maltre there. Oh, they're playing that offside trap. I think I can play Libby Han here. Oh, that's what I'm talking about with the Leke. That's the first time, first time I've seen a team actually build that offside trap and get caught out. That's kind of crazy. This whole time. Like I said, I haven't played DP6 very very much. Um, this is probably the fourth match. And I've only played it in this Master League, of course. So there's some different things, I think. Just the responsiveness as well. On that, He's already on a yellow. That's, that's fine, ref. That's nothing. That's a nothing play. Don't worry about that. Yeah, we don't need to worry too much about that. But I'm still getting to grips with DP6. I feel like it is very responsive, sometimes to a fault. But then, like, when you get the moments in which they're, you know, from the attacking third, they're making such beautiful, um, you know, beautiful passes and, you know, splitting passes and whatnot. Like, that's things I didn't see on DP5. So, like, enough for that, enough for that variety's sake, especially when they're on long ball passing of all things. Like, I'm happy with it. This is nice to see also of how they really haven't used the long ball that much. Let's see if we can find somebody. Come on, Aleke. I need you to warm up, man. Ah, it's just off the mark. And there he actually did well to get there. Come on, Altre. Man. This is uh, just one of those matches. This, I get these a lot sometimes where it's just like a matter of just can't get our foot on the ball. You know, everybody's just kind of off the pace a little bit. That's a nice pass. Just get it out. That's the variety I'm talking about that you'll just see. And with the line adjustments, you know, you've, you, they're just so much tighter, right? And so you get to see more of those kind of plays because they're really, truly trying to split. And one of my biggest pet peeves with people like who love to post like their Twitter videos of great goals and stuff, like here you'll rarely see where all the defenders are giving up all this space um, you know, to allow a long shot. Like with mine, you'll see long shots happen, but they'll happen from, you know, like this right here, where they're giving them space a little bit, man, where they give just a little bit space, but then as they get into the defensive third, then they start to pick up. These guys are playing what seem to be like really deep. Oh, that's a great pass. Come on, Arcus, control it. And it's really different. Oh, I thought he was going to come back. I think Arcus can catch up to this one. Arcus, maybe? Sometimes I'll just sound so American, so it won't even matter. All right, let's just keep it wide. and Let's get some plays going. There we go. A little touch, a little touch. There we go. Manu, get it in. Oof. I decided to shoot with Manu there. I mean, we haven't had a shot. Saki does well to control that. It's a little deeper than... I'd want him to. And Dom, if he was there, yeah, I'd be okay with him playing there. Entree, I'm not sure we can keep that in. They were pretty safe there, though. Right about half time here. Can we just get a strike? I don't know if we've got a shot yet. That's a good idea. That was a decent idea, actually. Uh-oh. All right, well done. Well done. I mean, that's half. These matches just kind of fly by from, or feel like they fly by. You guys are probably watching and like, Matt, take a shot. Do I have a shot anywhere? Okay, I have two shots, actually. See? It's hard to keep up. But, like I said, I'm having an absolute blast right now with this game. And so, really, I'm, there's the first long ball. And see, that, that, because of that offside trap, doesn't go to anybody, really. Oh, let's see if we can find... Levy Han trying to find Saki. Ooh. Cross it in. Just in the box anywhere. Altre. 
Oh, Manu! Ooh. Everybody just ignored that pass. That was a beautiful pass from Austria to Manu. Ah! Couldn't control that one, though. Go figure. All right. Got to be careful. It's starting to open up. Yeah, they're hugging the sideline. You can tell that's their move right there. That advanced instruction. Arcus is in trouble here. As Ward is just in a better spot. And he can't seem to switch to the right guy. Uh-oh. Oh, great save. I, again, I could not switch to the right guy. I just wanted to just switch with right stick. Great touch from Altre. He's got a match going for him right now. And then we go to Aleke. Come on, Aleke. Good touch as well. Cross in, bullet behind. Ah. I mean, that was a decent counter there. As uh, my avatar, Raphael van der Vaart. <laughs> Ah, that, that was a decent counter. We just... Lebihan moved too much, uh, too close to the goal there. And ended up just being in a tough spot. That's a weird pass there. Oh, well done there, but Arcus could be in trouble. Well done, Jubal. Nope, not sure what you're doing there. What's the call? Okay. <laughs> Guess Jubal might have got kicked after. What? <laughs> I mean, he slapped him in the face. Maybe that is a foul, I guess. All right. We'll take that. We will take it. All day we will take those. Again, we're, we're at that stage now where, you know, we're in relegation. And relegation in this game, there's no third division. So... You know, it's going to be the game over symbol. And I really love this Master League. I don't want to be game over yet. So if I can just get points, scrap them any which way I can, I'll take it. That's a nice touch. Play him in. Mabato, show that you can cross the ball. It's the thing. Bernard can cross the ball. Bernard also has a goal on the season. Which I didn't think of before I accepted that. But let's get something here. Let's get something here. Let's get something here. Lebihan, that was as simple goal as you could ask for. It looks like some confusion in the heart of it, but that's all you do is just ask for the ball to be sent in. Really kind of not the strongest of headers. Oh, I feel like Keeper really should have got there. Kind of just more surprised him than anything. Manu Garcia just put it in the box. Lebihan just, yeah, just stayed really well done there just stayed up in the air and headed it towards goal that's all we ask for from our forwards man good stuff there and here we go we can start opening things up that might work that might work come on Lydia. number two number two number two number two ah I mean, that's exactly what we wanted right there. That's a nice little touch right here. And then they overcommitted. I've noticed these guys are definitely more aggressive than any other team. Probably because they're near the top of the table or they are top of the table. And they just got that confidence. But if we can nick three points out of them. But let's not be premature. we still got a lot of match left. Let's be smart with the ball as well. But I know with this is they can definitely pick up the pace. What in the world is that? Come on, Nani. Oh, Lordy. Yeah. <laughs> kind of showing our inexperience there. Oh, there's that long ball. The ball should be able to get rid of this. That'll work. We can go over the top. Of yeah, nope. Nope, couldn't turn that enough. Oh, nice pass in. Well defended, though, from Nani. Well done. There we go. Like a true forward there, Libyan. Saki. Over to Altre. You go down the line, but I think I'm just going to play it as much as I can here. Switch it all the way around. I think we got a cross in, but Lebihan's a little close. 
That'll work. Come on, Lecce. Oof. Oh, it's not cleared. Ah, everybody's dropping back already. Let's get header away. Everyone's looking good right now. Looking really good. Let's see if we can send it off to Bato. There's the cross. Come on, Eleke. Oh, that was a good cross. That was a nice little play right there from all of us, actually. Nobody put a foot wrong at all. We keep running here with Manu. Now they're going long. And that is a good ball in, but man, we'll take that. Come on, Eleke. Send him in. One more. One more. Oh. Those two are hooking up nicely, but final. Need some more just technical finishing there. Clinical finishing, rather. But that, eesh. That's like, that's what Alecki does. Is like he's in those positions and just doesn't make it happen sometimes. And I need him to convert those. Can't take that for granted because these guys can come back. There we go. Starting to open up a little bit. That'll work. One more. Ah. So we're playing right off of the, you know, the gap that's in between. And the good thing about when I switched to two, to uh, two forwards, because I used to just have one forward. It just allows that gap to be used. And they don't have much of an answer right now. If they start pushing the long ball as well, they're really going to just become one-dimensional, which I'm totally fine with. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I was clearing it, but then I realized, like, oh, if I slide on this, you might actually, you know, slide instead of long ball out. So, all right, we'll take the corner. Let's just defend it. Let's just defend it. There we go. Oh, it's quiet all of a sudden. There we go. Come on. Come on, Le'Veon. Make a run. Oh, that's asking a lot of him. I don't think he's that fast. Well, no, no. That would have been good, but that didn't that didn't work exactly. Like it. Oh, that'll work. Oh, that touch, though. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Early cross. LK. Nope. 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 Pato. Ah, it's not the pass. Oh, I don't know why my Turi duck, ducked there. There we go. All he had to do was just get a get a body on there. That's all I really wanted him to do. We gotta watch out here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well done, Arcus. Get it out, get it out. Whoa. They're running out of ideas, I can tell. That's a nice pass to Boto. There's Autre. Yeah, I'm just going to try to just slowly build this one a little bit. There we go. Nice ball movement. Could find Saki right there. Yep, good run from Saki. Got to control it, though. <laughs> He's running full steam ahead. And I do have that auto substitution, so I like to see what... You know, basically what the assistant likes to pull up. Sometimes it's against what I would do, but I'm playing a regular difficulty, so I like to have that kind of randomness. I might be offside here, Aleke. Like me, I, I might have like subbed out Aleke, but I don't really have a forward. Oh, look at that, and Gondo is gonna do it. I guess he is the, probably the next choice. I don't know why Aleke is kind of congratulating himself. He didn't have that good of a match. He was he was busy, but it's just like typical with him. It's kind of no end product at times. And after this match, I'll jump in and show um, stats and show our goals and everything. Because I honestly, I honestly think he's at three goals, which could be leading. But Libyan's up there too now. Well, that's an interesting pass outside of the foot. Oh, Bernard came in for Boto. So this is kind of more senior team now. Oh, Bernard, what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all you could do because Gondo, oh, nicely done. 
Oh, he's got Manu Garcia. Manu! Oh, <laughs> deflected. That's exactly where you want him. Honestly, don't know where... I think that deflected off Livian, if I'm not mistaken. Ah. One thing I've noticed, especially... And it passes in China all difficulty levels, which I love that it happens on regular difficulty, is you can't just dribble past guys just one on one, kind of little, you know, um, you know, little step over, etc. Like you really have to use the angles to your advantage, I guess is the best way to say it. And the same when you defend them, like you can't just kind of turbo into them. Oh, they're pulling up the pressure. You can see they're picking up the second balls. That's a nice pass. That is a nice pass. What a strike. Goodness gracious. That's why I like to move the ball around, you know, because sometimes you just can't dribble like, like uh, Manu got there. And here's Altre in trouble, too. Oh, first time pass is beautiful. Let's see if we can beat their offside trap. Gondo's got the run. Was that Diallo who made that shot? That was crazy. And that's the thing I love, love, love about regular difficulty. Those shots, that, that probably went in on a higher difficulty. And you're like, okay, that's a right back, you know, who's got like 70 shooting. like, And they hit it like, you know, as if they freaking, you know, for Alex from Chelsea used to strike the ball, like just absolutely stomp it. Oh, this might go in. Oh, that was a cross from Saki. Oh, there we go. Ah, terrible touch. Still in the box, though. Come on, Gondo. Ooh. Deflected if it's going to be for a corner. E. Whoops. <laughs> the center back took a nice touch there. Thank you, ref. Thank you. I mean, look at this touch from the center back. Whoop. Just away from him. Yep. <laughs> no luck there. And if we can just hold on, this would be huge. And what a debut it would be for the video to get our first victory, or well, our second victory, but really impactful one that could get us out of the rele relegation zone. Oh, boop, 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 boop. I did not mean to do that. That was the wrong button. Well done, Bernard. Off to Altre. Altre has played well today. He usually plays fairly well. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh. Keeper? Oh no! Is he offside? No VAR? Oh, it's dead quiet. That was terrible. Ah, that was terrible. I don't know what we did there in the middle of the park. We look here. Autre past the Saki that was. And that was just a terrible pass from Saki. Trying to split the lines. And then I couldn't switch to Nani in time. And that was it. Yeah, I mean, look at it. Like, I was maybe going to try to cut that angle, but that pass was perfect. That pass was perfect. Yep, that one hurt. That one hurt. Ah, uh, what did I... I was just talking about how it would be a great debut. And there I go. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh Don't turn it around, guys. Come on. It's a good cross. My goodness. What a cross that was. Ah, okay. Now the manual's hurting. That's a great tackle. Might be a foul, though. Maybe enough time has passed. Ah. Oh, is that on them? Okay. I'll take that. I thought Tori maybe, yeah, took him out there. I mean, that's what it looks like. I think it's on, I think it's theirs. No, definitely ours. All right, Nani, get it up there. Oh, to Manu Garcia, of all people, really. Let's hope they pass it over. Come on, Ture. One more, one more. Manu, oh, and Gondo for the win. Oh, my goodness. That's terrible. <laughs> Somehow we finagled that in there and Yondo basically had the goal at his mercy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that's manual shooting for you, but still. Ouch. Could have been the hero. Oh, that might work. Come on, find Libby, huh? 
Ah. That's where, like, through pass, if it worked correctly, or if I had more control over it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well done. Well done. Come on. We can build an attack here. That'll work. Oh, go. Go, Georgian. Go, Georgian. No! Oh, too hard of a touch. From the right back. Oh, man. This is what I'm saying. Like, just matches like those. Like, you would say, yeah, they're frustrating result-wise, but they're so much fun. And you think sometimes in regular difficulty, like, it's maybe it's just somewhat easy. Like, I'd like in between. Like, in between regular difficulty and professional. But it's it's still good. And the adjustments we make are, are decent. And look at us. We have moved up. We're moving up. We're still not out of relegation, so we got to get more points. But one win, four draws, and six losses. Ah, but see, that was just our own doing. And now we're into December officially. I'll play Clermont Foot. And as always, Lionel Messi wins. As, you know, pretty much the way it always happens. Aleke is the leader of four goals. I can't seem to sort this by goals. Lebihan's at three. Manu Garcia has two. Ndom has one. Atre won. Toure won. And Saki won. Saki has? No, not Saki. Bernard. And Gando has one. And so, I mean, there you go. But this is pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, you know, this Master League. Let me know if you want to keep seeing this, if this is of interest to you for PES. I mean, I really wanted to get PES content out. I've got, obviously, I always, got, I always have more plans, right? I always want to say I've got more. I've finished up my Madden sliders, I believe, and I can do a video on that, just explain it. I mean, we're pretty much at the point of we're 22s. You know, we should be getting some announcements on it. But the way I see it is if FIFA is at FIFA 22, then we're probably not going to see it released until October. We probably won't hear anything until, what, August, September? Who knows? And then, you know, with PES, who knows what's going on with PES right now? So just, you know, wanting to get some, get some, uh, you know, some game content here out for you guys. I will also be um, start, I've been streaming my TGC tours uh, for PGA Tour 2K21, my true sim, the tour that I run on there. Um, and I might show off just like highlights, you know, on that. Um, or I may just upload them direct from Twitch. Um, my, my good friend IC Reaper 31 usually joins me for my rounds. I only played the two rounds um, unless I make the cut. And this past week I made the cut. So, you know, let me know if you guys want that. Just leave uh, comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll definitely get these going and kind of assume this is good content. We'll just keep making them and, you know, just keep showing off how good this game is playing. But... Leave your comments below, like the video, and as always, take care and stay tuned.